Hello there friends! Happy Friday and today is really a happy day because I am releasing or it's the launch day of my new collection called Fruitful. Now, I've been sharing behind the scenes and some of the sneak peeks of this collection on my Instagram. Um, and now they are all here. So let me tell you a little bit of this uh, collection. Now this collection is called Fruitful because I kind of did this element back in July during um, the World Watercolor Month. I believe I have a sneak peek or a little bit of this story from my uh, studio vlog. But anyway, this is where it all started. So I tried doing a different style of watercolor at that time. Uh, so what I did was I wanted to try ink and watercolor together uh, because I haven't tried that before. Uh, well, specifically with fountain pen because this was the time that I was really into fountain pen. It was my first time to really get into it. And so I wanted to test out the fountain pen inks. So I did. I've learned so much from this one that there are different kinds of and since I like the style of this one I also added a few more like this and this one so I just made some tropical fruits and this is where that um, fruit element started the fruit elements was not just about because fruits are quite interesting to paint with. Plus, I can't remember I've painted fruits in my entire painting life. Um, the biggest reason for this one was because I had this um, prayer when this year started that this year we are going to have another baby. So. While I was painting the fruit elements, I was really thinking about the Bible verse of um, about being fruitful. And then um, we couldn't really decide yet because of the COVID. Um, so we were still thinking and we've consulted doctors, our OB, if should I, should we do it before vaccine or after vaccine and all those things. And so um, an OB friend uh, suggested prioritize the vaccine first and then after that, we are good to go. And so we did. And during this time, July, um, I think we were just about to have had our second vaccine or second dose. And after that, that's the time that it's a go signal. And that's why I kind of painted this because I had in my mind that this will be my journal journey at that moment because I was diagnosed with PCOS before we tried getting pregnant. You know, having that kind of thing will result to a kind of delayed when it comes to fertility. Uh, so I was really expecting that it will take time for us to have our or to have an answered prayer and so i was just doing my thing painting this and um imagining and visualizing what other elements i would uh bring into this um collection and i was really slow when it comes to painting and visualizing and all those things and so september came when we had the very wonderful news we found out that i was already pregnant and it was really the most um unexpected and very surprising uh, moment for us and just like my first pregnancy my first few months was really like um i would say my brain was totally dead i was really tired i was sleepy although i did not have the usual morning sickness but i was just really sleepy so during the entire month of september i stopped doing all this because i was just sleeping <laughs> most of the time and then 
I thought I'm just gonna delay this for a while. Then come our usual second doctor visit. Then we found out that the pregnancy did not push through. Um, the baby did not develop actually. So it was really heartbreaking and well, it was difficult. Um, for days, I had a hard time um, grasping it, but our OB friend explained it well that, you know, these things could really happen. And there's actually a term for this. I just forgot what it's called, but basically, um, the embryo just didn't develop in an early stage. Now, after a lot of um, questions and tears after that um, scenario, I felt better a few days after that. I was having a lot of uh, questions or I was really wondering why that happened, why it was given, yet it was taken away. But, you know, there are things that we just couldn't really... Um, we just don't have an answer right now. But maybe... Um, in the future it will all make sense but on the brighter side of that um, I kind of felt that this time it's really just appropriate for me to fully finish the collection because right now I'm gonna start again this fruitful journey and that's why for days almost more than a week I focus so much on finishing this collection and I set myself a deadline which is today that I'll finally finish this one and so I can share this journey with you or if you're going through some things as well. Now this collection, uh, it's called Fruitful, it's not just about uh, fertility. Now if you check on the word fruitful, it also means um, plentiful or being abundant and so uh, despite what happened I still feel that there are still a lot of things that I am grateful about there are still more than just one thing that I'm still grateful for and abundant at all in so many ways now in general this collection is not just about um, my fertility journey but being abundant in blessings and our health and our friends and family and so many things okay so that's the story behind this collection now let me share with you what's included in this collection because I'm really quite excited about it now uh, if you've seen my previous collection from my last anniversary which was july that was the grateful collection i added other things aside from paper products but this time it's just all about papers okay so let's start with this one this is the pattern papers that is included in the collection now there are six pattern papers um in five by seven inches um this is not as big as your traveler's notebook nor the usual pattern paper pad that you can buy but this is enough for you to use as a background for your journaling or you can use this as inserts or a small wrapping paper because this one is printed on a a bit thin paper so these are the patterns that you will find um, these are the elements that were made into patterns and then the palette is just pretty much um, surrounding the colors of the fruits that I painted so these are the five or the six pattern papers now the next one is the journal cards now I have here two different uh, sets of journal cards now let's start with this first uh, the usual journal cards um, are two by three inches so you'll get four of this 
Now, these two are pretty much just for, for encouraging words. Um, you can use it as a dip in or you can just place it on your journal or perhaps stick it on your wall maybe. Now, the other two are the ones that you can journal with. Now, this part says in his time all this will happen and there are five bullets here which um you can write your prayer maybe five things that you wanted to happen in his time and so maybe this is the time that you can actually ask for it and then we'll see in his time when it will happen right and this part it says i trust in him so you can also write your journaling thoughts here or maybe you can add a photo or embellish it or use it as a tip in so many possibilities so these are the four um usual uh journal cards now this size is also the same card if you're doing the project live so you can just insert this in your um pockets um project life pockets so especially with this one because you can just use this as encouraging words now the second type of journaling cards are this one now uh this is somewhat like the pattern paper this one but the pattern paper is color green so if you have the two uh they're they have a different color so you won't be um having two of the same thing so this one is printed on a thicker cardstock. So you can use this also as a pattern if you wish. If you wish to. So you can what you can do is you can just glue or use a double sided and you can just place it right away on your traveler's notebook um, size. Or you can cut this, use this as a card maybe, add some embellishment. Or you can also add some photos, use it as a background lining, and you know, so many possibilities. Now, this is also the same size as this one, but I made it um, into a two different design, so you can cut it in half. And then you can use this as a tip-in or also um, a decoration for your journaling. This is bigger than the usual journal card. So if you're using it for pocket um, project life, this is not the same as your usual cards. Now there's also a bookmark, which you can add an eyelet and a ribbon afterwards. But basically this is just um, a thicker cardstock um, bookmark. So these are the different journal cards that you can get. Now, um, you'll also get two tags this is um right about the same size of an instax film just a little smaller so if you want to use this with uh photos you gotta have you have to cut um your photos into a smaller one that will fit here or you can use it for gift wrapping as well or i like embellishing this in my journal okay next one these are my one of my favorites uh the die cut tabs and labels so we have here 15 different tabs and labels that you can play with some of them have labels already but some are also blank so you can either add your own title here or date maybe there are four different tabs now, I really like using tabs not only for journals, but you can also use it for adding or embellishing your photos. You can add something like this on your photo, or you can actually use it like this or cover it that way, or just simply insert it on your um journal just like this you can put the, the title or the date here or if you're doing bible journaling and you still need tabs for that then you now have four um tabs with you so these are the die cut ephemeras or labels and tags all right next one are the elements or the die cut elements now these are very are quite big 
than your usual ephemeras. So, as you can see, they are a bit bigger. Well, not just a bit, but they are really big. The reason for this was because I really uh, intend to do a lot of art journaling this time. And I really like having big um, elements on my art journal. So, when I talk about art journal, this is just more about doing um, art rather than writing your thoughts. So this is my art journal and I want to share a little sneak peek. So just like this one, I like adding big elements on my art journal. Now this one is from Wilna Furstenberg. This one is from a calendar from my friend Aries Creates. So as you can see, I like using, since I'm using a big art journal, I kind of need big elements as well so that's why um the die cut elements are actually big so just like this one this is also from wilna see i have here like a very chunk of element and i can use it to place it somewhere here in my journal as my fo focal point so that's one reason uh, i made this really big compared to my usual die cuts um, but if you're using this kind of journal or the A5 size it is still possible to use them you can just cut them off or you know so still doable they are not for planners though though some are small enough so if you want to put this uh, so let's say I have here my bullet journal you can still use this and just place it somewhere and there are 35 elements that you can use with this collection. Now, the next one, we are going to move on with the sticker. Now, I just posted last night a different sticker paper that I want to use for this one. So, one is matte and one is clear. Now, I was actually leaning towards a clear sticker, but most of you wanted the matte sticker, so here it is. So the collection, of course, won't be complete without having any sticker because this was actually the first product that I have in my mind while I was doing this because who doesn't love stickers, right? Uh, so here you'll get 26 elements um, for your sticker sheet. This is matte and it's kiss cut can just peel it off right away like so now since this one is really small you can use it anywhere whether for your journaling or for your planners aside from the sticker sheet we also have the vinyl stickers now the vinyl stickers are actually upgraded because I used to print on just a vinyl sticker before but this time i also added a photo top meaning there's a clear but textured material on top of the sticker so this one is more sturdy if you want to put it on your tumblr or cell phone or on top of your journal so if let's say you want to use this as your label or a decoration for your planner then this is more sturdy because it has a covering on top of the sticker so you'll get five designs which is about two by almost three inches or this one is a bit two by one and a half inches but big enough that you can read those um, encouraging words so this one is one of my favorite, Choose Kindness, and this one too. So I think this is really perfect for cell phones or tumblers or anywhere you feel, like laptop as well. So these are the two stickers. Now I've also added two more extra product in my collection. This time, instead of doing a greeting card, I did a postcard now why postcard because i wanted to put this two encouraging words 
And since postcards are sent without an envelope, um, so whoever holds this one can actually see what's the design of your postcard. And in a way, they'll be reminded as well to be kind to themselves or walk by faith and not by sight. So, you know, just by reading this one by accident, we don't actually realize that maybe we are also helping someone else in a way right so you'll also get two postcards in the kit now here's the last part that you can get or the last last product that you have in the in the collection and this is really new and i'm quite excited with this one because in my art journaling i really love using stencils now i couldn't find the uh, the usual material that you use for a stencil which is a i think like a pvc or an acetate but i did try it with acetate but i wasn't so happy about the output although that would be uh, more sturdy compared to a paper however i i've seen from wilna Furstenberg's videos that she's been using a watercolor paper for her stencils and this is pretty much the same grammage of the watercolor paper so i think this will actually do uh i will show you different projects that you can use with this one and the elements that you have here or the patterns that you have here are also the same patterns that you can find um in the fruitful collection so you have here this um c curve and then the lines which is this one and the dots just like this uh, so I'm gonna show you some of the samples that I had with stencils before so just like this one this is not my own stencil design but this is the reason why I love or I was excited about having my own stencil because I like adding this on my journal page um, this is with molding paste and it just really gives extra layer and texture to your entire spread so as you can see that um i haven't played with my stencil but i'm definitely gonna share with you how it gonna share with you afterwards so just like this one this is made out of stencil holding paste and some paints on top of it so yeah so i'm quite excited to use this stencil Okay, now that I'm done sharing with you the entire collection, let's talk about the, the kits that you'll be getting. So I have actually three options for you. Well, actually four options. Um, so if you're as excited as I am with this collection, first of all, thank you very much. I truly, truly appreciate that. And I am so happy that you'll be joining me in this journal experience uh so this kit is actually available as a whole kit so if you want the entire kit uh meaning you get the stencils paper stickers and all the things that you see here uh so the kit is actually about 800 pesos for the entire thing now here's another option for you in case that you're in a tight budget I'm also offering a mini kit, meaning you don't have to get everything, especially if you're not really into postcards or if you haven't really tried stencils yet, or you just want a little bit of this and that, or the purpose of your um, purchasing is merely for journaling, that I'm also offering a mini kit. Now, in the mini kit, you will be getting the entire six pieces pattern paper you also get the four journal cards and then the 15 pieces labels and tabs and then so let's put that one here and then the sticker sheet and one random sticker from the vinyl uh, sticker pack and lastly you'll be getting 20 plus pieces of the die cut elements since you'll be getting just few pieces of the entire collection that is just about 250 pesos so if you're in a tight budget 
I got you. So you don't have to worry because you can still play with your creativity because you have good enough um, paper products for your journaling. Now the other option is all of this will be available um, separately. So if you just want to buy the sticker sheet, then this is available as it is. If you just want the sticker pack, then you can just purchase it as it is. Or if you're getting the mini kit yet you wanted to add the stencil maybe, then you can just do that. Okay, so the last one is something new which I've been delaying a lot but it's been my plan since last year. I'm also offering this time a digital product meaning you can have the printable files of all this. So instead of you getting the actual paper or the actual kit, you can just download immediately the files and you can print as many as you want. You're, you can play as many as you want. You can use it if you're doing a digital scrapbook. You can also use that for your journaling and so many possibilities. Have a friendly reminder though that even though you can print as much as you want for this one, they are intentionally for personal use only. All right, friends, that's about it. I hope you love this collection as much as I love designing them and making them and printing them. Uh, so they will be available tonight at 6 p.m. on my web shop. It's shopee.ph uh, forward slash artisan papery. And I will also be opening or I will also be uploading this on my Etsy shop. So in case you're not from the Philippines, then you can also purchase this one. So I hope you'll have a creative weekend. Thank you so much for spending your time watching this um, collection with me. If you want to share your personal experience, I would also love to hear that. And just simply thank you for supporting me and joining me in this journey. So I'm going to see you again on my next video, which is pretty much how you can use this in your journaling. So I'll see you again soon. Bye!